Morning, welcome back to Texas A&M AgriLife Research. We are out here today. We're gonna to start with the uh, first couple of rafters. So now we're up here at the top of the rafter. As you can see, I wanted to show you that where to put your screws. So this is the top. I'm gonna to make sure it's centered right there. Get a screw right here. It's gonna set it into this purlin, or into this rafter, and then one that sets it into this purlin, ties it all together. We leave the other side loose until we get a plumb bob. Then we'll remeasure it, and make sure it's all square, and then we'll zip screws in there and then we'll keep running with it. So that's the first two. We've got a string line set up down there. We'll run a plumb bob. So now we're up here, we got the first two rafters up here. We got some ratchet straps down to some earth anchors coming down. We put twists in them, keeps the wind from just, sit, just sitting there and popping them, loosening up our lines. So we got three of them. We got two on one side, one on the other, kind of staggered. So right here we got the plumb bob. We got a string line running on the outside. Go ahead and zoom in to see that. Running on the outside of these. There's another one right there. So what I'm gonna do is pull up on this and it's on the outside of the bar also. I'm gonna pull on this and Jared is gonna kind of balance it a little bit kind of keep it from moving too much and as we're doing that we're adjusting the straps make sure that plumb bobs right over that string line which means the very top outside of this rafter is flush with the outside of the bottom post that we put so it looks like it's good to go so these are all zipped in we got self-tapping screws all throughout all right, so now we're going to come back in. This is our third rafter. So we've de decided pre-putting it up that one side's going to go first. Sometimes when you try to get both of them in there, that thing starts to moving around. What he's going to do here is get a stick of screw. Self-tapper about two inches up. go and you want to make sure you don't over tighten them because then it'll strip out the threads so now he's got his side on there all right so now we'll go up to these the purlin see how it's short we'll come in stick one in from this side, in through there, connect it in there. We'll put two screws instead of one because on our existing high tunnels, some of those screws have vibrated out of there due to wind. So 